<clears throat> so we want to make sure that if you get a hold of this, that you can uh, do it, practice it. And, you know, we should be first partaker. If, if, you know, we got people going out in the streets, not just we, I'm saying Jesus, I'm saying the church as a whole now. If you look at things, <clears throat> there are things that are, obviously there's the natural and then there's the spiritual. Now, I don't see a clear-cut division between the two. I really see how they, it's almost like a spectrum, you know, just like angels. Right now, there are angels in this room. You know, how, how do we know? Because we're gathered here and this is a holy meeting? No, they're gathered here because you're here. You have an angel, at least one, at least one, that is with you all the time, right? And now, so our angels are here unless they're on assignment going out and doing something, working, you know, toward uh, for you, you might say. So they're here, <clears throat> and these angels are here, but you don't see them, and you only see them, and now <clears throat> angels operate at a higher uh, level, a higher molecular frequency, let's say it that way, right? I, I, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to describe it, all right? So for you to see an angel, they actually have to slow down. See, they have to become more into the natural, so that's a spectrum. See, what they do is they slow down to where you can see them. Matter of fact, that's why they seem to appear sometimes, and then they seem to disappear. It's not that they're, they're, they're not far off, and then as they get bigger, they get, you know, they get closer, they get bigger. That's not it. It's that you cannot see them, and then you start seeing them, but they're right there, so they are materializing in front of you, but they're not coming from somewhere. They're just slowing down enough for you to see them, right? And when they slow down enough, <clears throat> that their molecular structure matches yours, now you can touch them. Until they reach that point, you could reach through them or they could reach through you. Now, if we were out of our body and in our spirit, then we could see them and touch them all the time because it, we would be made of the same uh, materiality, you might say. Does that make sense? So, uh, <clears throat> what we have to realize is that angels are here they're, they're, things speed up. So there is a spectrum going from spiritual to physical. I don't see it as a clear cut, boom, boom. It's the spectrum. And you can move anywhere along that spectrum. That's the same thing to be spiritually minded. You can be spiritually minded. You can be carnally minded. At any point, you are more of one than the other. You move along that spectrum. Now, I can tell you where you are based on if you tell me what you spend most of your time doing. Right? If you tell me what you spend most of your time doing, I can tell if you're more carnally minded or more spiritually minded. Why? Because to, to be carnally minded is death, right? And carnal means of the flesh. And it means to be spiritually minded. It says that if, you're, if you think on things that are carnal, you're carnally minded. And if you're carnally minded, you think on the things of the flesh. That's just the way it is. If you're spiritually minded, you think on the things of the spirit. So if you want to be more spiritually minded, you have to purposely decide to think on things of the spirit rather than things of the natural. Amen. All right? Now, I'm just kind of laying some groundwork. Now, 